Uh, you know, I think the the first thing I want to say is I, I, I'm I continue to be really proud of the the consistency and the tradition that we've been able to build here. I know for us last year uh, we went into a lot of unknowns. You know, the first time going into the Big Ten Conference, uh, losing Alyssa Thomas, uh, your three-time All-American, and uh, so to be able to kind of make history by uh, going undefeated in, in conference play, winning the Big Ten tournament, uh, you know, receiving the number one seed, and then being able to to go to back-to-back -back Final Fours. And I think that's the thing, you know, for us is that, uh, you know, um, new teams, new seasons, but uh, in terms of our culture, you know, things don't change. Yeah, you know, just another new year, a new season. I think uh, when you go into any new year, uh, it's a, a different team and, and they're going to make their own history. And so, I mean, you, you kind of, uh, you know, you, you return four seniors uh, that I'm really excited about with the leadership that we have, um, the experiences that they have going back-to-back uh, -back Final Fours and what they've been able to do in their career. Um, you talk about, you know, three of our starters uh, returning for us, you know, and then you talk about uh, adding, you know, two McDonald's All-Americans in, you know, Kaya Gillespie and Brianna Frazier. Uh, you know, having said that, uh, with the success that we had, it was also probably, you know, as I go into year 14 here at Maryland, probably one of the busiest off-seasons that you could uh, possibly have. You know, I'm really proud, you know, to be able to extend the coaching tree when you talk about Tina Langley and, and Marlon Chin going on from being assistants to taking over their own programs. Uh, with that, we were able to hire, in my mind, two of the uh, brightest uh, assistants out there with Bet Shelby, our recruiting coordinator from Virginia Tech, and then Terry Nooner uh, just recently uh, from Alabama, played at Kansas on the men's side, and um, also uh, brings his own signature and, and energy into this program. You know, first and foremost, you know, Bet is someone that uh, I've had my eye on for a long time. You know, I knew that uh, my associate head coach, Tina Langley, was going to be at some point moving on for a head coaching position. So um, she's just, you know, a relentless recruiter. And uh, she eats, sleeps, breathes recruiting. And you've got to have coaches on staff that, that are wired that way. And she's really talented. Uh, the number of recruits that she's brought uh, to the different programs she's been in, she's made a huge difference and uh, just is really dynamic. And then uh, for us with Terry, you know, a, a late hire, but um, just really fits us perfectly. You know, he's a family guy, uh, you know, really a glue type of guy. Uh, so strong in so many areas on the court, off the court, his relationships with people. And he's really funny. He's really dynamic. So, you know, just growing with both of them, two new coaches, uh, Patrick coming in as our performance coach. So just a lot of great energy, new ideas and, and exchanges that I think uh, make you better as a team and as a program. We had a lot of change, um, but I thought we handled it great. We stayed focused. I mean, we worked hard this offseason. I mean, we could have we could have got distracted, but I don't think we did. I thought we handled the change very maturely. And I know we're excited for the upcoming season. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, maybe at an earlier age, you know, I think like most, uh, it, it's uh, uncertainty. It's uh, you, you, you can't predict the future. But I've really found as obviously you get older and wiser, and if you can learn it at an earlier age, that uh, change is a great thing. It keeps people so it isn't the same. You don't stay stagnant. And uh, you get all, you know, figuring different things out and people, and, and it, it keeps you fresh. And it also can bring up bring about just a, a tremendous ideas, you know, and things that are done differently. And so, you know, definitely over the, the years, you know, have just really welcomed change and I think it's made us better. The thing I love about the freshmen is that uh, from the moment they've stepped on campus is that uh, they, they have learned how to work. You know, and we've, we've brought them along. And I think with our upperclassmen, they've done a great job. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, off the court, you know, Brie Frazier is really funny. You know, I mean, that's a side that I didn't get to see in the recruiting process that I've really enjoyed. You know, Kaya Gillespie, uh, you know, is just uh, wants to always do the right thing, works really hard, puts her head down. And, uh, you know, just the two of them together, it, it, it's a great fit and, and combination. And our fans are really going to enjoy watching them both play this season. They've come in and left their mark already. They are definitely 
in tune with themselves and great individuals. And just by that alone, you know, it encourages other people to kind of be themselves and not have to worry about the next person on left or right. I think they have a confidence that's out of this world. And it's just so refreshing to be able to see every single day. We have winners. I mean, we have winners and workers. And, and you don't find that in everyone. I mean, they come out, they're coming from McDonald's All-American, Jordan Brand players. So I know, I mean, like, you don't just get that overnight. I know Kaya has three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back state championships. You don't just get that from from anything, and I'm, I'm pretty excited to play alongside of them. It's my last chance to leave a mark at Maryland. I think that's what I'm most excited for, to see what kind of mark I leave this year. I think that we have a really great team, and I'm really excited to see um, what the season has to bring. I think we work really hard, and we play well together, and I'm just excited for games to start. It's been, um, preseason's always fun. You get to get together and um, practice, but I think once game starts, you really, it just shows how much of a team you are. You're playing with each other now instead of against each other in practice. I'm excited about how hard we've been working. I'm excited to be led by two senior point guards. I'm excited about being the best Shatori possible, that just being able to give my team any and everything of me, just being able to help my team in any possible way. Uh, so over the summer, I was uh, chosen to play for Team USA for the USA World University Games team, and we got to go to South Korea. Yeah, you know, uh, Shatori and Bree were invited out to USA basketball. Bree Jones uh, went to the World University Games in South Korea. Shatori was in the Pan American Games, got to go to Toronto. From all reports that I had heard, both played extremely well. You know, went in with the right mentality uh, to go make a team. You know, it's at the highest level, and it's going to be a situation where you can't predict. It's uh, is you're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to uh, go through, uh, you know, the the tryouts, and and it's going to be nerve wracking. You're going to have stress. You're going to have pressure. I was nervous, uh, but one thing about Maryland and one thing I love about Coach B is that she pushes us each and every day. So like, yeah, we don't have to try out, but like, it feels like, I mean, like, it's not, it doesn't feel like a trial, but like you're being pushed to your maximum effort every single day and just being able to stay hungry. And I just took that mentality and, and took it to the tryout. I gave it my all. It was a three day trial, it was like two days. My legs were killing me the last day. <laughs> I remember uh, calling my mom, pretending to cry, um, cause I didn't make it. I mean, telling her I didn't make it. And then, and then she started praying for me because <laughs> she knows how upset I got. And then I told her I, I made it and she was happy. I mean, I, it, I don't even know if words can explain the feeling that I, I felt. Jefferson pushes. Shot coming from Walker Kimbrough for three. Pretty cool because, I mean, uh, you know, neither one was recognized by USA Basketball or even invited coming out of high school and then to be able to receive an invite uh, coming from Maryland to, to be able to go out. It was really cool going to another country, experiencing a, another culture, playing against other countries and different styles of play. I think it just allowed me to grow and uh, gain experience as a player. First, it was a little different, like playing with uh, new people and people I've played against, but I think over time we got to know each other because we spent a lot of time together. So uh, we got to learn how to play with each other. I think it's cool, like learning how to play with other people that you've played against. We've seen this lineup before. It's been very effective because Brown and Jones has a great ability to pass the rock. It was, it was an honor to play alongside some of the great players that this country has to offer. Um, not only playing with them, but I got to learn from some of them. I mean, Brianna Stewart and Mariah Jefferson are competing for their fourth national championship in a row. So, I mean, they must be doing something right. So I was just trying to learn from them a little bit. They like to win. I like to win. I know they like to work hard. I, I like to work hard, too. And, I mean, I think when you have that in common, I think that you can use that to beat other people. Steal there by Walker Kimbrough, in she will go for the layup. I mean, you can't script that in the summer to be able to go have, um, you know, that kind of competition, that kind of experience, that kind of pressure. You want to talk about an athlete, look at Walker Kimbrough explode to the hoop. I think it goes goes back to the change a little bit. Um, the one thing that was a little bit, I wouldn't say challenging, but it was like a little odd because like we were playing for different coaches and like, you know, different coaches have different philosophies. So it was like, 
Coach B might run her 2 3 offense, I mean, defense this way, and I'm used to that, but now I have to run it a different way alongside of four other people that don't know what they're doing as well. So just like trying to learn, and we don't really have that long to learn, so I think that was part of the most challenging. Williams shovels it off to Brianna Jones. One dribble in the jump hook connects. She has four. Um, it's hard to build chemistry on the court when you haven't played uh, together for a long time, and it's just hard to get a real rhythm and flow when you haven't had a lot of time to practice with each other. Uh, it definitely makes me appreciate Maryland a lot more after uh, experiencing that. Uh, I don't even know the name, but we went to like they wanted to. They said it was like the tallest tower in North America, in Canada, and I thought that was pretty cool because I've never been to Canada. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool to just see what, what they have to offer and just being in a new place. When we were in South Korea, like we tried kimchi, it's like a, their national food there, and it's, it's okay. It's not, like people say it tastes really bad, but I think, I think it tasted fine. And uh, we actually got to see the border between North and South Korea, so that was cool. We learned a lot about um, what makes North Korea uh, different than South Korea and how much um, control their government has over them. Uh, it means a lot getting the chance to even represent the country, but then to go out and win a gold medal uh, with the group that we had, it was amazing. Um, at the end when we won, they raised our flag, they played our uh, national anthem. It was just like an amazing experience that I'll hopefully get again. Chitori playing against international competition, professional players. For the U.S. youngest team in this tournament by far, average age for Canada 25.08, a mix of young players and veterans. You know, they ended up taking a silver, but they were going against pros. Like I say, I mean, it was an honor to not only represent our country, uh, but to represent this program, to represent my family back at home, and to bring a, bring a silver medal back to the United States. And it's made both of them better. I mean, they've come in and have really, uh, from a leadership end, a vocal end, you know, uh, lead by example. They've done that so well. So it it's, uh, will definitely help us going into the season. I do have uh, Olympic aspirations. I feel like this summer was like it made me a little. It made me hungry, and and I mean take that hunger and put it towards this season. Um, it was kind of unreal. Like I couldn't believe I was getting my college degree. I felt like I just got here. I actually was more nervous about walking across the stage at graduation than the Big Ten Championship and the Final Four just because I was worried about tripping and falling in front of all my classmates and family and friends. Uh, but it's a special moment and especially for my parents, they were both there and it meant the world to them and I was just happy that I was able to do that. Honestly, I never ever thought like, oh, I wasn't going to graduate or something like that. So it was more so expectation for me that I've set for myself, like, this is what you're supposed to do this. So I think it was definitely kind of a, I, I, it was good for me to just take a, like a big deep breath because it was kind of like, I finally did it. Like I got, I got what my parents have been working so hard for, what my family's been working so hard for at a great university. So it definitely was a moment for me where I was just, you know, happy for myself and happy for my family and everyone that's pushed me to get to where I'm at now. You know, it's a tremendous honor to be able to watch them go across a, a graduation stage, uh, you know, you, you, because you know, you know, just everything that they've had to juggle within their careers, and then to be able to watch Melina and Chloe do it in three years, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, incredible. I mean, you know, it takes most people four years, maybe five to graduate, and, you know, just, again, it backs up the, their, their workmanlike mentality. Uh, I think I figured it out sometime last fall of my junior year that I was going to be able to graduate as a junior. I'm not sure how I did it because there were times that I was struggling so much, but it's also a true tribute to our sort of mindset for academics. Um, I know especially Melina, she did the same thing, but when I tell you the first time we got here in the summer before going into our freshman year, we both still hadn't even graduated from high school. So we came in with a mindset, let's get it done in the classroom and let's get it done on the court. Uh, I mean, I think it takes a lot of discipline, I think. Um, and for me, I love school, so that's what it took for me, is loving school, loving going to class, loving being here every summer session, every winter session, being in a class, really no breaks from class. And I was okay with that, because I love learning and I love school, and 
I mean, I had a lot of help too. Heather was amazing in helping me and making sure that I was in the right classes. Heather's been awesome. Uh, she's, she's a mom. She's literally our like academic mom. She focuses on all things academic and also a cool thing about her is first question she always asks is, how's your day been, Clo Clo? And I know she probably asked the same questions to the rest of my teammates. All right, so this is our Scholar Athlete Honor Roll Board. Um, I'm a team of just 12, six or 50% of our women's basketball team was named to that. So it's something that we're real proud of, especially during a Final Four season with all of the travel involved and all of the extra games and everything and getting to the Final Four. It's something that we're really proud of to have our student athletes do so well in the classroom. I've been here a long time. I spent actually 13 years working in football and then um, Brenda brought me over in 09 to start working with women's basketball. Obviously they have advisors in their major or college, but we want to make sure that they have a good balance. Um, actually, Brene Mosley and I had a conversation the other day and she told me that she'd really taken some great classes while she was at Maryland and I kind of laughed. I said, well, did you think you wouldn't? And she said, well, no, but you know, you helped me really pick those out. And um, a lot of it is getting to know your student athletes. Um, I feel like I have a really good rapport, especially with the girls on the team. Um, they're in here for a lot more than just academic stuff. I mean, it might just be to come in and sit on the couch or they want to sit in here, you know, the table where it's quiet and do some work. Um, or they just need a place to come up and just kind of unwind and not be around basketball for a little bit. Um, but then I also kind of know when to push them and when not to push them. If someone's got a tough week coming up academically, that's not the time to get on them about, you know, not doing something they shouldn't have done. or. Um, you know, hey, get those study hall hours done or something like that. They just, they know what they have to do and they, they do a great job of it. I mean, we can never question their work ethic and, and really that makes my job a lot easier. I just, I just have to meet them where they are and, and provide whatever services they need individually. I think it says a lot, you know, I mean, because athletes, you know, do get a bad rap sometimes that they're just uh, in their sport uh, to be an athlete. And uh, you talk about Melina Howard had the highest GPA of any student athlete in the Final Four last year being recognized. Uh, you know, what an honor, you know, pre-med uh, major, you know, then you talk about you know, Chloe, uh, from her end, you know, securing an internship with Comcast Sportsnet and, you know, really, uh, you know, just wanting to, to get into, uh, you know, a communication journalism and uh, potentially in the future. So just both being really highly driven, you know, having, having a plan for their next step. I mean, I know what I want to do in life and I know that I want to be a doctor and I know that getting the, um, graduating and getting the classes done was really important to help me put myself in the best position to be able to get to med school. And I think it just shows what a great school and what great opportunities they give you. I think that it doesn't matter if you're an athlete, if you're a normal, a normal student, if you're um, a graduate student, they give you the best opportunities to be the best person you can be. Um, I mean, I think personally in the program, it shows just how much they care about you, not only as a basketball player, but as a person in general. Um, I wouldn't have been able to graduate in three years if it weren't for Coach B allowing me to be in classes that maybe I had to miss a little bit of practice for, or um, trusting me enough to know that my academic load might be a lot more, but that I'm going to be able to get it done basketball and um, school-wise. So just, just how great of an opportunity that they, the basketball and the university gives you to be able to do that. It's bittersweet because Coach B Literally, it feels like just yesterday she was telling me as a freshman, it goes by in a blink of an eye, and I was rolling my eyes like, yeah, right, like, I'm a freshman, I'm going to be here forever, and now I'm a senior, and I can't believe it. How are you guys? You want some Brenda's peanut butter freeze? There you go, Brenda's peanut butter freeze. Oh, I think you're going to want a big scoop. Free ice cream? Uh, we're at the Maryland Dairy today, a special day we're unveiling a uh, special ice cream, Brenda's Peanut Butter Freeze. What do you think? Does it look like your mom? Uh, all of my favorite toppings uh, in uh, one delicious uh, bowl of ice cream. So peanut butter, chocolate, brownie, bites in it, and uh, all the credit goes to the chef uh, for taking in. Um, all of the, my favorite toppings and putting it together in one delicious uh, uh, bowl of ice cream. One of the things that the dairy was missing in my opinion, or Maryland was missing, was a chocolate ice cream with a peanut butter swirl. So, we, I was very excited about when she said that that, that was her favorite flavor. I got it to uh, Chef Russo right away, I'm like, 
This is what she wants. <laughs> I'm Jeff Russo, I'm the executive pastry chef for Dining Services, University of Maryland. Well, we, we debuted Coach Freeze's ice cream, and um, it was a pleasure to work that out. It's nice when we have someone who really knows what they like, and we can actually give them what they want. And I spent a little bit of time on it to work the flavors out so it was unique in its own. Rather than putting just peanut butter cups and vanilla ice cream, I worked out a fudge base for the ice cream to give it a little more uh, uh, a strength to the chocolate and it wouldn't overpower the peanut butter. Um, it's chocolate and it's peanut butter and like the combination is just fantastic. It's my favorite combination. I love those two. It's great. It's going to make me fun faster. I'll make sure all the track kids come over here so they can get some. Any peanut butter freeze over here? Any yeah, ice cream over awesome. here? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Yeah. Good, yeah. good to see you over here. <laughs> Who doesn't like ice cream, right guys? Who doesn't yeah. like ice cream? It's so. The best. <laughs> So, uh, is it your favorite kind of ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're we're very appreciative of the uh, the dairy and unveiling the ice cream for us. Maryland Dairy has been on campus for 90 years. Uh, it's used to be over on Route One. They moved it to here, which is actually has a better foot traffic, and more people actually get to sample the ice creams we have, which is very good for everybody. Oh, I'm happy. I mean, that's the whole point of doing what I do. If if I can make somebody happy with what I've done, then I've, I've done the best I could do, and I'm very happy about that. Well, I'm really, really grateful. It's been a fun day being able to introduce it and, and uh, roll it out to all the students here at Maryland. It's nice because the, the team is doing so wonderfully. How, how could you not want to promote that? But you know, definitely, I, I'm prepared to have it ready for basketball.